Alright, in this video we're going to set up a multi-camera setup for our first person shooter game and if you missed the previous video I'm going to show you why. So here we are, here's our one camera setup uh, embedded in the camera or parented is the gun so the gun's a child of the main camera so the gun will follow it around everywhere we go. So just play the game and this is perfectly fine but there's a major problem when we run into a geometry or getting close proximity to geometry the gun overlaps and intersects and it doesn't look good so the way we solve this guys is to use a multi-camera setup and to do that we need to fiddle about with a couple of settings on a new camera so we can put the camera whenever, wherever we want so you can go and create let's go to a camera and this is going to be our second camera and let's call it player camera you can press F2 or click this to change the name um, where is it? There is. So we don't need the audio listener because we've already got one in the pr in the game, basically. So you can remove that, and we want this depth to be one because the main character, the main camera's depth uh, on our player is where? Where is it? Player. Here it is. So the depth of this camera is zero, and we want this one to be one, so it overlaps the the first camera. All right, guys. So we're going to put the gun in this view. So let's just select the gun if we can. Let's zoom up to this camera, game objects, move to view, alright, so let's just move it in place, or in the place you want to move it to in front of this camera. So this camera's currently got a skybox, I'm just going to change it to a solid colour for now, and lock the inspector, so we've got this camera preview. I'm just going to move the gun in place, so it doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to use our arm animations and stuff like that, so it doesn't have to be perfect guys, just to example so this is how it's going to be and so the gun follows the camera let's parent it parent this gun to our second camera this time so it was called player camera there it is okay so the guns there um so now we need to change this to depth only because we just want it to display everything or ha that has depth basically so this 3d model and to further um def uh, refine this we're going to change the culling mask to everything that's in the player layer. I've made a new layer called player and uh, just for now I'm going to put the gun in the player layer <laughs> player layer so um, changes here to player yes change the children because within the gun object I've got the, the model which I named kind of a weird name arm2 final1 gun but <laughs> we won't use that in the future um, so this is almost everything we need to do guys by the way if you want to move this camera again in look in the preview because it's depth only it's not going to update the skybox or the solid color whatever you want to call it as you can see so if you want to update the gun's position I'd recommend going on solid color a lot easier and then changing it back to depth only okay so now we've got the camera set up what do we need to do well we need to parent the actual camera to our main camera so again it follows it so we've got the player objects the main camera is in the player so, and then the player camera is parented to the main camera and then the gun um, and I think it's as simple as that, I don't think we missed anything out so the second camera is going to follow the main camera and all this camera uh, shows is the gun alright guys and it's situated over here so if we play the game again um, ok this is a bit weird isn't it so let's have a look see what we did wrong Yep, it's on the player, on the player layer, depth only, culling mask, that's the one. Right, let's change it to nothing first, so we don't want this camera to display anything. And let's just change it to the player layer, so that's what we need to do. Try again. Alright, cool, so let's run into an object. Boom, the gun is no longer intersecting with uh, whatever it's going to run into. So let's try again on the plant. There we go. Nothing's nothing dodgy's happening, guys. So, really, really nice trick. And uh, the camera setup's out the way. So, if I quit the game, all our camera setups over here. So, it's not going to get in the way. We can put all our animations here. And a really nice thing it does, guys. The the lighting as well updates on this gun, as you can see. So it looks realistic. Okay. So, that's the camera setup. Um, and you can use this setup for anything guys, you can use another camera to display like 
I don't know, the near, start it at 20 and work up to 1000 so you can display less detail in that range and then set up another camera for the close proximity to display particle effects and little effects like that, you know, add more detail to the level. So, Alright, now that's set up we can play about our animations and tweak the game and the demo will be on the site very soon guys, so thanks for watching the video, I hope you've learned a lot. Just to recap, parent the second camera with the main camera and parent the gun with the second camera. Alright guys, so depth only, so all it's going to display is this model of the gun or anything that's in the player layer. <laughs> so that's it guys, thanks for watching the video, see you in the next video.